Governor-elect Mike DeWine today announced eight more cabinet and high-level staff positions, but several positions still remain unfilled. With the key spots named and what's left, here's First News State House reporter Jason Aubrey. New directors for a number of state agencies have been nominated, including the Department of Administrative Services and the Department of Rehabilitation and Correction. At a news conference this morning, Governor-elect Mike DeWine said he's pleased with the selections he's made for his cabinet and senior staff. For the most part, he's drawn on a familiar pool of candidates, as many of his initial appointments are current or former employees of the Attorney General's office or who have worked with him before. If you look at the people that I've surrounded myself with throughout my career, uh, they, they have always been, or I've tried to have, and I think I've succeeded, uh, people who are tough, strong, uh, not afraid to tell me when they think I'm wrong. Today, DeWine looked to someone who's worked with his lieutenant governor for the past few years and tapped Matthew Damschroeder to head the embattled Department of Administrative Services. The department has been racked with scandals. Well, that certainly will not be tolerated. This is an important position. And DeWine also announced the nomination of the first female director of the Department of Rehabilitation and Correction, Annette Chambers-Smith. I made it clear to her uh, that the first priority uh, of any governor should be the protection of the people of the state of Ohio. DeWine still has more than a dozen other cabinet positions to appoint, including agriculture, the Ohio EPA, health, mental health, insurance, and transportation, to name a few. Mike DeWine and his lieutenant governor-elect, John Husted, will be sworn into office in less than two weeks. At the State House, Jason Aubrey, WKBN 27 First News.